Okay. That's not all of them. Okay. Hey, Shalom. Shalom. First and foremost, I want to start out by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh. 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 honors to the apostles, elders, great most, and the well, peace and blessings to the elect of Israel. Shalom and above all. Back here in the list of the spirit of power, Yahweh Shemel Shai. Lord willing, this video is edifying. I got the beloved brother you want to thaw with me. All right. Shalom. And uh, we just coming back at it with another lesson, man, through the spirit of power, Yahweh Shemel Shai. And want to do a lesson on uh, exhortation to brothers man to uh you know do your lessons daily okay work day you know this, that's what the scriptures tell us to do so now of course we understand that every brother has his own portion and his own measure of faith and his own lot and this truth so you might not be the brother who can spit out 12 videos one day okay but you can at least for the most part do one video a day okay and now let's say you get caught up all right you know, you will make it up. Let's say you get caught up for some reason, some reason you just couldn't make that video that day. Okay, well, next day, tomorrow comes, if the Lord allows you to see tomorrow, make two videos, you know, make a video right. for tomorrow, or make a video for yesterday that missed, okay? That's you right. know, and at the end of the day, you know, a video doesn't need to be a whole hour long. You know, a video could really be, you know, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes it could be five. It's just as long as the video is edifying, you get straight to the point. It doesn't have to be long and drawn out, man. You know, and a lot of, a lot of Jake get caught up in the fact of like, oh, what, 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 what is there for me to talk about, or you know, what am I gonna do my lesson on? Well, I'm gonna say this, okay? If you're in the spirit, you'll find something. The spirit will lead you to talk about stuff, man. And there's so many different topics that you can hit in the scriptures, okay? There's just so many different things to speak on, especially in the times that we're in now, you know. Right. And there's so many different ways that you could come about with making a lesson. Okay, mm -hmm. whether you call a brother up on, on the phone, you read, you know, you're doing your daily reading. Okay, uh, you call a brother up on the phone, spirit spark you to do a lesson. Mm -hmm. uh, looking into current events, spirit mm -hmm. spark you to look into current event, matching up with prophecy. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. You being in the spirit, meditating in the spirit, that, that helps you get videos in, man. Because the fact that you can't do a video really is just a matter of spirit not on you know that's right, that's right. especially hey, let's take to account you know if you meet that if you meet a yo or a woman you know jake put all their time and effort into that man how much more um that woman's being sophia this wisdom knowledge and understanding so you gotta you gotta apply the same thing you know that you're giving time and effort to the world but you gotta do it like the scripture say, ten times more in this faith, man. You know, yep. so like the brother said, you know, uh, there's many things to do the work on, especially in the times we're in right now, man. You open the news, there's something right there. You go on social media, there's something right there. You got um, Sleepy Joe yesterday. You know, if you if you know, you know. Don't want to get the video strike, but hey, that's something to do right there, man. That's just to show you that hey, prophecy is what prophecy is aligning. Okay, so there's many things to do to work on, but um, let me get uh, this. You, kind of, go ahead, Malak. All right, this is First Timothy chapter four, verse thirteen, and it says, "Neglect, neglect not the gift that is in thee." And every man has been given, you know, according to the portion a gift, man. All right, whether that be exhorting, whether that be prophecy, a uh, prayer, going into the Hebrew. Like the brother said, man, there's many things that you can go in in this truth. And that's why you have to understand what you are in, man. Because and when you come in, you got to get involved, man. You know, every day, daily, man. Like the brother said, sometimes you may call a brother. You know, there's many ways that you could, you know, use your gift, man. So that's why it says to not, to not neglect, man. And when yeah. you neglect something, basically, what does it mean to neglect? It means to really not give attention to man you know but this is something that you you know you have to right i'm gonna finish the pre brother slocky for rambling and it says first timothy chapter 4 verse 14 neglect not the gift that is in thee which was given thee by prophecy with the laying on of the hands of the presbytery you know so that's right and, I, and if i'm not mistaken 
In that same chapter, does it not say give attendance to reading, to exhortation, to doctrine? That's right. You know, so a part of reading, you know, that's when you read, a lot of times that'll spark your spirit. You know what I'm saying? Right. And, or, you know, it, it, it can lead you, okay? Give attendance to reading, to exhortation, to doctrine. Okay, so exhortation is what? What we're doing right now. This is that's exhortation. Right. Okay, we're exhorting our people to do the work of Yahweh Shema Shai. So, you know, if you're giving attendance to that, okay, then guess what? You're going to stay in the spirit to doctrine. And what's a part of the doctrine? All right, the doctrine is to do a lesson or to do the work daily. As a matter of fact, right. since we're talking about exhortation, Bible Kushan, you get a preacher for me, brother, Bible Kushan? Come on. Okay, uh, exhort daily. Uh, it's Hebrews 3 and 13. Come on. All right, since we touching on the topic of exhortation, all right, give attendance to exhortation, right? And that's another thing, too. That's another way of saying, in a, in a roundabout way, give attendance to watching videos as well, you know, because brothers, uh, when the brothers do their videos, that's exhortation, man. So you're supposed to give attendance to that. Come, this is Hebrews chapter 3, verse 13. But exhort one another daily while it is called today. Lest any of you be hardened through the deceitfulness of sin. It's one enough daily while it is called today. Right. Don't wait till tomorrow, you know, to, to, to do the work because you might not see tomorrow. OK, a right. lot of jig, get, a lot of jig get caught up with the whole. Oh, yeah. Next week or tomorrow or a week from now or a month from now. No, 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 no. Right now. Fear the Lord right now. Because scripture says, Sirach 5, make no turn and turn to the Lord. That's right. You know? So you don't know if you're going to make it to tomorrow when you read the precept in Luke 12, okay, and, and, uh, about, you know, the, the rich man. He had many riches. Then he wanted to lay up his riches for the years to come. The Lord said, thou fool, this night thy soul shall be required of thee, man. So That's whose right. riches are those going to be? So you don't know. The most high could take your spirit at any moment. The brother you want to talk says it a lot. We go out to camp. We don't know if we're going to make it back that same day. We hope we're going to make it back. So let's say hypothetically the Lord does take your spirit your works follow you in the spirit realm revelation uh, uh 14 and 13 goes into that so imagine if you've been slothful okay then the lord take your spirit and those works are now following you in the spirit realm and you like lord like why you didn't do your lessons jay i gave you the whole i gave you the breakdowns i gave you the apostles i gave you the men of the lord to learn from you know i gave you the knowledge why didn't you apply it hey that's y'all paul because you quoted uh, Sirach, the fifth chapter says, put not off from day to day. Okay, why does it say that? Because like the brother said, you don't know when your last day is going to be, man. You know, and like right. you said, um, you know, what we're dealing with right now is the Lord's money. Okay, you understand that parable when you go into Luke, the, the 19th chapter. You know, you're going to have to multiply that, man. So that goes back into, again, neglecting not the gift, man. And you could bring out the... You could bring it out, brother. Con, uh, neglect. It says, fail to care for properly. Mm. Yep. Not pay proper attention to. Disregard. Right. Damn. Fail to do something. The state or fact of being uncared for. Uh, the action of not taking proper care of someone or something. Failure to do something, man. Okay. And it says, from the uh, origin, the etymology... Neglect meaning disregarded from the verb neglect neglegere from neg meaning not legere choose pick up. So you're not picking up or you're not choosing to do the work, man. That's neglect, right. you know. And if you don't want the Lord to neglect you, okay, so Ooh. don't neglect the thing that's commanded of you. Speak it to myself almost because sometimes you might miss a day, you know what I'm saying? It happens, okay. Or you, you shit, I'll even go as far to say you might miss two days. OK, um, but if you go in days or weeks or months or even years without doing a video, you need to do some serious self-examination because shit, if I miss a day, I'm worried. OK, right. now, I know at the end of the day, you know, the Lord is merciful. OK, and he might not just, you know, slay you because you missed the video one day. The Lord is merciful, but don't take his mercy for granted either, man. OK. That's right, man, because at the end of the day. You know, why Why do we do the work? We do the work first and foremost because we fear you. How about Shemal Shah? Not only that, but like the brother quoted in Revelation, the 14th chapter says, 
your their works follow them. Second Ezra is nine and seven. It says, let me, let me get that. You know, it's all about doing that work, man. What did um what did Yahweh Shah tell Simon Peter, man? If you love me, feed my sheep, man. He said it how many times? You know, times. thrice. That's right. Let me That's get right, that. Man. Let me get this quick one. Second Ezra chapter 9, verse 7. A, and it's gonna go into that uh, that first pre we got. I'll bring it out. But this is second Ezra chapter 9, verse 7. And everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to us uh, to escape. By his works and by faith, whereby ye believe, you see. So you're gonna escape by your works and as well as faith. And if you have faith, what does it say? Um, faith without works is dead, man. Meaning that by your faith is going to um determine what you do, man. You know, right? I got a precept to back you up. Come on. This is second Corinthians 4 and 13. We having the same spirit of faith, according as it is written. I believed and therefore have I spoken. Ooh. We also believe and therefore speak, man. Hey, shalom right. to the brother Abu Lamawar. Yabash Shalom. Shalom, brother. Shalom. But like it says right here, we believe, therefore we speak, man. Okay, if That's you truly right. believe in these words, you're gonna apply these words. You're gonna speak mm -hmm. these words, man. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know, and a part of applying these words is what exhorting one another daily, man, as the scriptures tell us to do so. That's right. You had, you had another piece of Uh, I got that second one. Okay, all right. You have something? No, you got it. All right, this is uh First Corinthians chapter nine, verse starting at verse sixteen, and it says, "For the uh, for thou I preach the gospel, I have nothing to glory of, for necessity is laid upon me." Yeah, woe is unto me if I preach not the gospel. Right. You know, that's plain. Woe is unto me if I preach not the gospel, man. Okay? And that's scary when you think about it. Because the mm -hmm. Lord has entrusted you with these riches. You want the perks of the kingdom. You know, you want everything that comes with being a servant of Yahweh Shemashai, except for the servant behalf. You know, you, you don't want to do that. Part. But you want the reward, though. Doesn't make sense, man. Okay? And now I'm not saying... You know, brothers, you don't have the, the the desire to teach or to do the work. You know, a brother might be nervous. A brother might be, you know, dragging his feet or whatever. But you got to put all that aside because you have to realize something. Uh, your salvation is on the line. Mm -hmm. Your salvation is on the line. So don't neglect it. Neglect not the gift that is in you. You know, this is all a mm -hmm. gift. Right? Okay. This, doing the work is a part of the maintenance of the Holy Spirit. That's right. Okay. Because there are different avenues to serving Yahweh Bashar Shai. It's not always about doing a lesson, you know, but at the same time, lessons are important, man. Okay. Let's not, let's not act like they're not. Okay. That's right. In um, verse 17, it says, for if I do this thing willingly, I have a reward, you know, and that's what, isn't that what we want, brothers? We want that reward. It says, I have not seen nor ear have heard, man. Okay. So there's going to be a reward for those that have a uh, uh, works, man. You know, and you know, it's crazy. I got another pre. This is Second Ezra is chapter two, verse thirty-five, and it says, "Be ready to the reward of the kingdom." You know, hey. So all in all, being ready is what staying ready. So you don't gotta what get ready, man. Yeah. Meaning, if you're staying in the spirit, you know, doing the things after the spirit, you ain't gotta succumb to the flesh, man. And guess what? Lessons come along with that, man, because. And when you're reading, you watching lessons, hey, the Lord going to put it on your spirit to do one, man. You know? Yep, that's right, brother. That's right. Sometimes you watch a brother video and it sparks you to do a lesson just off of watching a brother video. You know, right. that's how the spirit works. You know what I'm saying? The spirit is like the wind. Con, and think about, you know, the apostles and elders, man. You know, when they first came onto the scene, how they went on to the scene by putting out these lessons for the brothers to watch it. You know, so we can't change the recipe. But says if it's not, if it ain't broke, don't okay. fix it. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, like you said, doing the worst, making lessons is a part of this ministry, man. That's right. Uh, the brother Avalon put a few precepts up on the comment board. It's a uh, Philippians two and twelve. Wherefore my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, 
work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. That's right. right. So you want to obey. You don't want to just obey and be, you know, fervent for the truth when you're around brothers. It says much more in my absence. You know, mm. you got to be that much more in the spirit now that you don't have a brother there to check you. That's right. You know what I'm saying? You got to work out your own salvation with fear and trembling, man. Because at the end of the day, you know, you know, I can't save this brother. Neither can this brother save me. We all have to give account for what we did on our personal walk with Yahweh Shai, man. Yeah, that's right. That's, that's the right. point. What's the point? Come. Uh, this is uh, 1 Peter 5 and 2. It says, feed the flock of Yahweh Shai, which is among you. Right. Right. Like the brother quoted earlier. You know, what do you, what did the Lord tell Peter? Well, this is Peter talking to us, you know, feed the flock, feed the sheep. Right. Mm -hmm. And that's the spirit. Cause I was reading Psalm 78 today. So this, this is how the spirit works. I was reading Psalm 78 today and it said how the Lord chose King David out of the sheep and he made him to feed the flock of the Lord's people, Israel, man. Okay. You know, and then that's the King David is Peter in the reincarnation. If you can't, right. you know, so it says, uh, taking the oversight, the rub, not by constraint, but willingly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not for free, but of a ready mind. So the scriptures say we're supposed to be prepared unto every good work, man. That's you right. So if you're not in the spirit, how can you be prepared unto every good work? You know what I'm saying? I say that about this brother right here a lot. I'm like, this brother always ready to do a lesson. This brother always ready to do, you know, a righteous work for Yahweh Bashma Shai. Because why? Because the brother in the spirit, the Lord gave him a ready mind, man. And we have to have that same type of spirit. So we can do this work, okay? You can't have that mindset of, uh, I'll do my lesson later or I'll get to it. No, nah, that's not having a ready mind. That's 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 having the mind of being constrained. You know, like a brother got a brother got to yoke you up and motivate you every time to make you do a lesson. Or a brother's got to constantly babysit you and be like, ah, did you do your videos this week? No, bro, no, no. Work out your own salvation, man. At the end of the day, yes, we do hold each other accountable. We do look out for each other. We do warn each other. We do exhort each other. But a brother shouldn't have to babysit you for your own salvation, man. Mm -hmm. You should want to do the work of the Lord. You should want to, you know what I'm saying, please Yahweh Bashem El Shai and do what you can to serve the Lord, man. A brother shouldn't have to force you or make you feel constrained to do it. Hey, that's right, man. Hey, that's y'all part. Uh, I got a quick one. This is Baruch chapter 4, verse 28. And it says, for as it for as it was your mind to go astray from the most high, so being returned, seek him ten times more, man. Meaning that we gotta we supposed to be on fire, man. On fire for this thing. Why? Because we understand when this uh kingdom, this rulership goes down, we know what's coming next, man. We know our Lord Yahweh Shah is an austere man, man. You know, especially have given us this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, you know. We can't play with this, man. Mm -hmm. All right, because at the end of the day, yeah, how it, it's up to you how about your mouth shot to keep us in this truth, man. This is not on our one accord, man. So right. if, we're, if we're being slothful, if we're not really into this thing, you know, we don't want to be cast out, you yeah. know. So hey, like the scripture said, not being returned, seeking 10 times more, man. You right. know, at the end of the day, this is your soul, this should be your soul priority, man. Everything comes after this, man. And you, you know, you got people in the world or people that may not have the spirit, they don't understand that because it wasn't given unto them, man. You got athletes. What do athletes do? Athletes is um you had it, brother. Let me try to see if I can find it. Is no days off, man. Yeah, when yeah. athletes, when they train up for basketball, football, what do they do? Every day, every yeah. day, they're trying to get better, but that's carnally, man. How much more spiritually, man? Yep. So every day you need to be trying to improve, man. Every day in the spirit, you want to improve in somewhere, you know, some asset, you know. So, you know, you can apply things from the world and apply it into this truth, man. You right. know, not legally, but, hey, if somebody wants to go to the NBA, NFL, and they're fully persuaded, as Christian says, to be fully persuaded, they're going to do what it requires, man. So yeah. it's the same thing. Yep. They got they got the dream, but they're gonna put in the work to make the dream into reality. That's right. And that's like having faith and works, man. That's you right. I mean? And uh uh it says first Peter five and three, neither as being lords over the most high's heritage, but being ensembles to the flock. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, this ain't this ain't about lordship. Okay, yeah, there's rank and there's order in the camps, but it ain't about 
you know, hey, brother, I'm over you in the spirit. You know, bow down to me. Nah, it's about being an example to the flock, man. Okay, and you got to think about it. You might be the youngest ranking brother in the camp. You might be, you know, the 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 the, the uh the um you know the lowest rank in the camp to speak, but you still have a higher rank, and you're still a leader to someone out there. There's somebody who only subscribes to your page. Yeah, you might have five subscribers, but guess what? Them five subscribers, you're responsible for feeding them through the spirit of Yahweh Shemashai. So now, how are you setting an, a, a good example to them if you are not being consistent with doing your lessons and, you know, you're being wishy-washy with doing the work, mm-hmm. you know, those, those five sheep, they're starving. And guess what? If you lead one member of the flock astray, that's blood on your hands. How much more, you know, whatever X amount of those who are following you and waiting for you to upload a video, man. That's you know? right. Mm-hmm. Especially, especially in these times, man. You know, back to like we were saying in the beginning of this lesson. Oh, you could finish up on there, brother. Khan, Akia says, uh, you, you, you want to finish your point, brother? No, you got it, brother. You got it. Okay, Khan. This is uh, 1 Peter 5 and 4. And when the chief shepherd shall appear, ye shall receive a crown of glory that fadeth not away. Ooh. It's going to be a reward at the end of this thing, man. You know, a lo- hey, matter of fact, let me get that in uh, 1 Corinthians, the ninth chapter. Okay. Because. Yeah. What you was gonna say, brother? I was gonna say, um, uh, yeah, that's the spirit, the one that says, uh, oh, damn, I, uh, okay, I think, is it this one, first Corinthians 15 and 58? Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, for as much as you know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Who says always abounding in the work of the Lord, man? Always, always means continually, man. You know, not not sometimes, not when you want to. Always a bonding in the work of the Lord, man. Okay? And you have about Shemal Shah is not going to forget, man, those that were diligently, man. Doesn't it say, um, uh, what is that? With all diligence, make your calling and election sure, man. Yep, you yep. know, be, being diligent is the opposite of, of, of slothfulness, man. That's right. You know, the, the two don't go together. All right. And you don't want to be slothful in any way. OK, this is not something this, you know, what we're dealing with, you know, is very serious, man. So you got to make sure that, again, you fully persuaded in this thing, man. You know, yep. Yep. like in this same verse, like the brother brought out, for a few, <laughs> you know, to to willingly, you know, you want to willingly do the work. You want to willingly get better in the spirit, man. They say my uh, our inward, the inward man, or what is that one? The outward man. Yeah, the, the outward man perish. Yet the inward man is renewed day by day. That's right, day by day. That is not day uh this day, then a day after the next day. No, day by day, every day, man. You know. Yep. Yep. Um, I, brother, put up another precept, Proverbs eight thirty four. This right here is a banger. Blessed is the man that heareth me, watching daily at my gates, waiting mm-hmm. at the post of my doors, man. So you're right. supposed to daily be at the Lord's gates, man. You're supposed to daily attend to this ministry, man. You know, that was a good precept right there, Ak, the water for the precepts. Come the water for the trees. Yeah, bless my This is, uh, I got a precept. I'm just going down the list. Uh, Psalm 61 and 8. It says, so will I sing praise unto thy name forever, that I may daily perform my vows. Okay. And what do we vow unto the Lord? When you put, you got to understand too, another thing too about not doing your videos, you put your hand to the plow. You you signed a spiritual contract. You sold out on the right-hand side. Okay. Just like how, you know, people who are in the world sell out on the left-hand side and they get riches in the constellate this world guess what we sold out on the right hand side and there are certain rituals for if you will that we have to do you know to to uh, to obtain our constellation in the world to come and in the times right. of trouble right? that's right you know because a lot of the work that we're putting in now that's going to pay off in the time to come okay through the spirit and the mercy of Yahweh that's right okay but guess what happens when those people in the world stop doing their rituals 
stop selling out. They get persecuted. They, they they get locked up. You know, they get defamed. They lose all their money, right? Those are all carnal things. Well, now, if we stop doing our righteous rituals on the right-hand side, guess what? Lord going to destroy us. Okay? That's right. And, and pluck us away, you know, little by little. Okay? And shit, you, you, you know, hey, there was an example made uh, a couple weeks ago. All right? There's mm-hmm. a dude amongst the uh, Tampa Bay camp. You know, them brothers, uh, prophets in Babylon, okay? You know, and he ended up falling out, turning into a scoffer. And guess what happened? He died in a car accident, man. He ran into a tree, okay? You know? So the Lord don't play, man. The Lord don't play. Mm-hmm. Especially in these times we're going into, we're going to see many cases, man. It says, what? Well, judgment must begin first at the house of, you know, Yahweh Bashamal Shah. But I got a quick one. This is Psalms chapter 86. Verse three, be merciful unto me, O Lord, for I cry unto thee daily, man. You see, crying and son, that's what we're doing spiritually. Crying and son unto you, how about you, Why? Because we want to get up out of this place, man. You know, that's the main thing, you know. But if you are a sign of crying, obviously you're content, okay? It says in the book of Zephaniah, you men being settled on their leaves, man. We don't want to be settled. Why? Because this place is going to be destroyed, whether anybody wants to believe it or not. Why? Because the scriptures say so, man. You know, yeah. you just had Sleepy Joe the other day, well, yesterday, put out, you know, about the, you know, the sea hip, man. Just to show you that, hey, these prophecies are, what did Elder Apostle, Elder Apostle Hard deem this year, man? The year you have watched my shot turning up, man. Things is, is picking up at pace fast, man. You know, so that should be a spiritual boost right there to know that these words that are written in these scriptures are what faithful and true, man. You know, mm-hmm. so that's on the good side. But guess what? There is repercussions unto those that aren't being diligent with this word, man. You know, yep, so. Yep. Yo. And the brother quoted uh, Stephanie 1 and 12. And it shall come to pass at that time that I will search Jerusalem with candles. So the Lord, he's exposing everybody's works. Everybody's works is getting put to the light. Okay. Because, right. you know, you got it set up where, you know, there might be some men in your camp doing something. But guess what? There's men in other camps doing the same thing. So the Lord, he's he's putting the light on that, man. You know, seeing what it is. Okay. And it That's says, right. um, it says, it says, uh, and punish the men that are settled on their lees. That say in their heart, the Lord will not do good, neither will he do evil. Okay, now I got I got the uh Bible comparison for Zephaniah 1 and 12. This is uh Zephaniah 1 and 12 in the English English Standard Version. It says, At that time I will search Jerusalem with lamps and I will punish the men who are complacent. Ooh. Let me get that word complacent, man. <laughs> God. It says, Those who say in their hearts, the Lord will not do good, nor will he do ill. So pretty much. You got a lot of people out there who who don't fear the Lord. They don't think that the Most High coming back anytime soon. That's why they're not on fire. That's why they're not fearing the Lord. That's why they're not worried about the judgment to come. But if they were in the spirit, they would know the Lord come back sooner than we think, man. And that's Mm -hmm. to drive you and spark you to do the work. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now, I got uh, complacent. I got complacent in the Merriam-Webster, and it says, marked by self-satisfaction. That word is a little tongue twister. So like it give me one. So it says marked by self satisfaction, especially. Oh, I'm uh, marked by self satisfaction, especially when accompanied accompanied by unawareness of actual dangers or deficiencies. Okay, you know. Unaware of dangers, man. That's how Jake be moving. Complacent. Right. And, 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 and and you know they say in the uh construction field they say being complacent can get you killed man okay? right you know you're not moving with the and, and and you could even apply that in this truth being complacent can get you killed because if you're not moving with the fear of the lord and everything that you do guess what you could be complacent and and, and do something and guess what that could cost you your life man or it could cost you the lord taking away the spirit from you which is just as bad as you losing your life shit in my opinion that's worse than you losing your life mm-hmm. i got another one this is off the cambridge dictionary it says feeling so satisfied with your own abilities or situation 
that you fit that you feel you do not need to try any harder you know yeah. so, hey so basically having this maybe knowing the names of your how about some outside of some people is enough maybe somebody making a video here and there is enough just like it says all right that you feel that you uh that you feel you do not need to try any harder but in this truth you gotta try harder you know but guess what again like the brother said many people become complacent why because things may be not going as fast as you want man you know a lot of hey, a lot of jake have that situation man waiting it says warn to you that uh what is that in Sirach, the second chapter wants you to have lost patience man what will you do when the lord shall visit you man and the lord gonna visit a lot of you dudes that's um slothful man especially when it comes to this word man you know mm -hmm. look around you man in this place you know look around you you know yeah you see the lord already visiting this place now right you know, so how much more when all hell breaks loose? You're going to want that confidence in Jacob's trouble. Like, man, I know I did what I had to do to serve the Lord. I know my righteousness says filthy rags, but the Lord knows that I gave it, you know, my best shot, so to speak. So you're wow. going to have that confidence, you know. But if, you, if, you, if you're being complacent, you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing, you know damn well you're not going to have boldness in the day of judgment. Because you know you ain't, you ain't been living right. Right. You know? And a lot of things, too, I'm going to go ahead and say it. A lot of times why you might not be able to do a lesson is because of something that's behind the scenes hindering your progress in the spirit. Okay. Right. And you know, whatever it may be, thou knowest, you know what I'm saying? You know, you're not your own selves as the scriptures say. So, you know, for the most part, what can be a hindrance unto you, what can be holding you back from doing the work. You know, you shouldn't be out there worrying about chilling with no female. Okay. Or doing no folly, you know, before you did, before you did the work. That's Here right. It is, yeah. Here it is. You ain't did a video in a couple of days, and you want to go chill with some female? Come on, man. Prior your priorities are not in the right place, man. You know it tells us in what Isaiah, uh, Isaiah forty six and eight, if I'm not mistaken. You know, roughly paraphrasing scripture says, "Show yourselves as men, man." Meaning, you know, it says also, "When I was a child, I spake as a child." You know, and we're not children anymore. All right, we're men, meaning that we have to step up to the plate, man. We have to prioritize. We have to make sure that we're doing things decently and in order, man, making sure we're taking care of a hey, the spirit first before we take care of the, the flesh, man. You said, hey, the, uh, the flesh profited nothing, man, you know? That's right, brother. Oh, and uh, the brother Abel Amawar, he put up a precept, too, about uh, the vow. Ecclesiastes 5 and 4, when thou vowest a vow unto the Yahweh Shemashai, defer not to pay. Right. And what mm -hmm. have we vowed? We vowed our lives for this truth. We made our bodies living sacrifices. A part of making your body a living sacrifice is doing the work, man. Because it's a sacrifice of your time and your attention and your life, so to speak, to do this work, man. To do the work, Yahweh Shemashai. And it's a privilege when you really think about it, man. There's so many other people out there who wish that they had the opportunity to serve them like how the Lord has given us, man. So, so okay. neglect not the gift, man. Don't neglect it. It says, and for he have no... No, you got to slock it. Go, go, go ahead, brother. Finish up on the verse. Slock you. Okay, come on. It says, defer not to pay it, for he have no pleasure in fools. Pay that which thou hast vowed. That's right. It says, better is it that thou shouldest not vow than thou shouldest vow and not pay. Right. And even though this can go into vows, this truth is a vow. And if we're taking it in this type of direction, this reminds me of that one precept in uh second Peter where it says it's better they didn't know the ways of righteousness, yep. you know, than to know the ways of righteousness and to go back into the world, back into their vomit, you know, because they're gonna get a, a, a harsher judgment, man. The servant right. that moves the Lord's will and prepared not himself shall be shall beaten. Right. Stripes. That's right. That's right, man. And this, you know, especially too, like you were going into Tom. What's one thing that you can't get back, man? That time is something that you can't get back, man. It's right now is 1029. Uh, what's today's date? Today is August the 10th, 1029. You know, it's never gonna be August 10th, 1029 when it becomes 1030, man. So one thing you can't get 
is time and then it's true one thing that you have to apply is your time effort and energy man and it's very important what you put your energy and time into man because what um this is the thing it says in isaiah chapter 33 verse 6 it says wisdom and knowledge is going to be the stability of thy times okay okay because we're going to have the wisdom and knowledge of the scriptures and we're going to be stable in the times to come why because we were putting the effort in right now man you know so again while everybody else is going to be running around not knowing you know when shit hit the fence like a chicken with his head cut off we're going to be stable why because we put the work in right now man it's all about putting the work in right now staying ready so you don't have to get ready man okay yeah. so you have to apply you know your time and effort and energy into this thing man and right. anything else you put into is vanity man if we're going to be if we're going to be honest you know the woman can wait all right your cell phone can wait uh right. your job can wait man but this comes first man you know yeah. and if it can't then guess what uh, which what you you know what i'm saying you gotta have to make a decision like sure say mm -hmm. choose you choose you this day whom you will serve you know <laughs> you know what i'm saying can't right. serve the most of the mammon hey that's you know? right so so you gotta and this and that's another thing too and it's true you gotta make sacrifices man okay yeah you yeah. might not be able to go on a date you know but at least you could do the work okay because when all hell breaks loose bro when the missiles come down you're not gonna be thinking about a woman bro you're gonna be thinking about how you walked with the Lord. That's what you're gonna be thinking about, man. Okay, so keep that in mind. Con, you got uh Jay that be like you weren't with me when I was shooting in the gym. Well, that's how the Lord gonna feel with a lot of you dudes, man. You weren't putting that time in, you know, when it when it really mattered, man, because our people have the spirit of being um uh what's that word? They like to pro prolong prolong or procrastinate procrastinate the water brother a lot of our people yeah. like to procrastinate man think that they have all the time in the world man you do not have all the time in the world man before destruction comes warning and the heavenly father has sent what his spirit back upon this earth his prophets his men the servants to warn the world before what's about to happen man and we're seeing that now so you don't have as much time as you think you know right Hey man, I, I had a preacher to back you up because you made a beautiful point. This is a uh, Sirach Ecclesiastes 18 and tw uh, 22 and 23. Sirach Ecclesiastes 22 and 23. Be faithful to thy neighbor in his poverty that thou mayest rejoice in his prosperity. Mm -hmm. Abide steadfast unto him in the time of his trouble that thou mayest be heir with him in his heritage. For a mean estate is not always to be contemned, nor the rich that is foolish to be had in admiration. Okay, so. It says, be faithful to thy neighbor in his poverty. That way you may rejoice in his prosperity. So right now, we're being, we're being faithful to the Lord in his poverty. You know, Yahweh is not ruling the earth just yet. You know what I'm saying? If you, if you follow after Yahweh Shai, you're looked down upon, you're frowned upon, right? So now it's like, it's it's, it's almost as a, a poverty thing serving the Lord, right? You know, right. we struggle with the Lord, okay? But guess what? When the time comes where he's going to reward us and we're going to be joint heirs with him and get that glory, Man, the Yahweh shot gonna be like these the brothers who were shooting with me in the gym while you wanted to go out to the club, you wanted to go out to eat with that girl who got the lace front and the red hair and the red weave down on her ankles and all the you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, yeah, y'all was probably gonna be like, Look, these are the men who are willing to sacrifice, man. That's right. Okay, because guess what? In this truth, you will have to make sacrifices, man. That's just the way it is. Yahweh shot died for you, the least you can do. The least you can do is feed the sheep, man. Mm -hmm. Imagine, 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 uh, um, imagine, you know, this brother had a dog, okay, and this brother laid his life down for me. And he was like, hey, I, I'm finna lay my life down with you, for you. Baba Kashat, can you take care of my dog while I'm gone? And I, and I, 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 I neglect the brother's dog. I leave the brother's dog a couple days straight, ain't fed the brother's dog, I ain't take him on a walk, nothing. Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna be feeling him in the spirit room. He's gonna be like, damn, I, you know what I'm saying? At least I, at least you could have done with feed my dog, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Or at least say, no, I can't feed it, you know? <laughs> and that's why the scriptures say, it's better thou has not vowed 
That's right. And to vow and not pay it. So that's the spirit. Huh? That's the yep. spirit. So that's why, like it says, no man putting forth his hand into the plow. You know, what is that? Uh, Luke 962, that's the spirit. Let me go, let me go get that, Lord Willis. Come on, throw it, bro. Luke 962, and Yahweh said unto him, No man having put his hand to the plow and looking back is fit for the kingdom of the most high. Ooh, see, it's not fit, you know, because why are you looking back, man? Why are you looking back for? There's no, hey, what happened to lost wife when she looked back? She got right. turned into a pillar of salt, man. You know, yep. so we don't want to look back. It's all gas, no brakes, man. You know, so that means that's going back into what we're going into daily, man. Daily, daily, daily. There's something that you can be doing to progress in the spirit, man. You know, yep. I so, got that. Go ahead, brother. Baba Kajan, can we segue? I'm going to skip. I'm going to skip down. What, what priest have you had, Malak? Uh, Isaiah chapter 62, verse 6. Okay, yeah, that's 12. All right, come on. This is Isaiah chapter 62, verse 6. I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem. You shall never hold their peace, day nor not. Ye that make mention of the Lord, keep not silence. Keep going on that. Come on, Bible Kusha. Verse 7, and give him no rest till he establish until he made Jerusalem a praise in the earth. Yep. Give him no rest, man. I think there's a piece of Psalms 132. You know, King David said he won't give rest to his eyes until he sets up the Lord's temple in Jerusalem, man. You know? Now, of course, brothers, of course, you know, pretty much, uh, brothers not, it's not like brothers gonna stay up all night and just, you know what I'm saying, never go to sleep. But it's just, it's just the, it's the sentiment of like, look, I'm gonna make sure that I handle and stand on business for y'all by Shemashai before I go and take my rest. Mm -hmm. You know, make not silence, man. So if you don't do a lesson for a couple of days, that's technically you making silence. And the that's Lord right. told us to cry aloud, spare or not. Cry you know? aloud, not. So a part of us sparing or not is not sparing you people's feelings, but as well, you know, not sparing to, to, to do the work of the Lord, man. What happened to Jeremiah? Jeremiah said he, he wasn't going to preach the word of the Lord, the word of the Lord anymore. But it says it was in him as a burning fire, man. He couldn't even with he couldn't even forbear. That's you know, right. so if you truly in the spirit, you're gonna have a hard time not doing the work. Hey, you see what happened to uh Jonah, you know. You so like like going back to if you want hey the Lord go hey the Lord go make something happen to where you're gonna take this thing serious, but again, you don't want to take that mercy. You know, for granted, you don't want to play with your how about your mouth shot. It says it's a fearful thing to, to fall in the hands of the living power, man. You know, we understand what could happen to us if we, you, you know, we don't handle the words of your how about your mouth shot correctly, man. And then, um, uh, like you, I, I was gonna say we could segue uh, down to uh, Mark 14. All right, Mark 14, uh, just to kind of, you know, catch up with the time. And I'm going to get this too, Lord willing, while you're looking for that, if you don't mind. Come on, you got it, brother. Uh, this is Jonah chapter 2, verse 9. It says, But I will sacrifice unto thee with the voice of thanksgiving. I will pay that I have, I will pay that that I have vowed. Salvation is of the Lord. Mm -hmm. And the Lord spake unto the fish, and it vomited out Jonah upon the dry land. <laughs> okay, so Jonah was like, Look, I will pay what I vowed, Lord. What is part of the things that he vowed to do the work of the Lord, man? And guess what? The first time you did a video and you uploaded it, that was you making a vow to Yahweh Shine. That's right. You want that Mark uh, 14? Come on, like you. All right, this is the book of Mark, chapter 14, verse 49. I was daily, I was daily with you in the temple teaching, and he took me not, but the scriptures must be fulfilled. Mm-hmm. Mm hmm That's it. So Yahweh said he was daily teaching in the temple. Mm -hmm. So we are to follow his footsteps. That's you know right. what I'm saying? There are certain things that Yahweh did that, you know, we might not be able to do right now till we get changed or till the Lord increases, you know, our, our spirits. But we can do the work daily as long as Yahweh Shai gives us the ability to do so, man. That's okay? Right. And Yahweh said, shit, we, we're going to do greater works than he did, man, because he goes into Very the Father's 
if he was daily teaching in the temple, you know what I'm saying? Brothers, brothers be doing the work daily too. That's okay. Right. You know, and it's all through the spirit of power, Yahweh Shalom Shai, man. And that's how the Heavenly Father is glorified, that we bear much fruit. Okay. Mm -hmm. If you're not if you're not being fruitful in the work of Yahweh Shalom Shai, the Lord is gonna sift you out, man. Okay, because you're being lukewarm, you're not on fire. You know what I mean? You're you're being lukewarm. The Lord is not dealing with a lukewarm individual. He'd rather you be in the world than mm -hmm. come in the group and to neglect it and play with it like it's something to play with, man. They say you shall know a man by his fruits. Right. A corrupt uh, tree can't bring forth evil fruit. Yep, yep. I mean, a, a, a corrupt tree can't bring forth good fruits. Uh, hey, Bob, okay, can you get Acts chapter 2? Come on. Hey, can you start at 42 on down? All right, this is Acts chapter 2, verse 42. And they continually, I mean, they continue steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine and fellowship. And in breaking of bread and in prayers, it said they continued steadfastly in these things. What's a part of the apostles' doctrine? Doing the work daily. Let's continue, mm -hmm. Bible Kushar. And the fear came upon every soul, and many wonders and signs were done by the apostles. Mm -hmm. And all that believed were together, and they had all things common, and sold their possessions and goods, and parted them to all men as every man had need. And that's, they, the beauty of that's the beauty of the body, okay? Because you know, brothers, they have all brothers have all things in common. You know, if yeah. a brother, if if, if I got a, a incense, this brother got a lighter to light the incense. Guess what? It's almost as if we both had incense and a lighter. Why? Yeah. Because that's how the body works, man. We have all things in common, man. You know, brothers don't just hold stuff back and nah, brother, I don't want to give it to you or nah, brother. Or you know, if you do have that spirit on you, you got to rebuke that because that's a demon. You know, I fell victim to that spirit before, too, but I know it's a demon. So you got to rebuke that, man. You know what I'm saying? You got to rebuke that because the scriptures say we had all things common, man. We sold our possessions, possessions, parted it to every man as as they had need, even though this is technically a different topic. I just want to bring some edification on that. Um, verse. Oh, shit. Well, what's another way of selling your possessions now? Doing the work. That's Don't right. Selling your talents. You know, mm -hmm. they hide not wisdom in her beauty. Okay. Right. And, 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 um, you know, pretty much it also says to speak when there's an occasion to do good. Roughly paraphrasing, man. Mm -hmm. So, shit, you know, that's another one. Con Acts chapter 2, verse 46. And they continue to continue, uh, Shalakia, and they to uh, continuing daily with one accord in the temple and breaking bread from house to house. Did eat their meat with gladness and and singleness of heart. Yep. Praising the Most High, having favor with all the people, and the Lord added to the church daily such as should be saved. Ooh, man. Oh. Hey, man. So, man, that's beautiful. So, imagine if they weren't daily doing the work. Those souls which needed to be added to the church daily. How would they have been added in the process of time? You know, if the apostles wasn't out there laboring, man. You know, it's the spirit. It's all through the spirit, of course. But right. there's certain things set up in the spirit that help gender certain things forth. That's right. Okay. So that was a good precept right there. Uh, I'm going to get Acts 5 and 42. Uh, can you uh Corinthians 11 and 28? Gotcha. I'm going to get Acts 5 and 42. It says Acts chapter 5 verse 42. And daily in the temple and in every house, they cease not to teach and preach Yahweh Shai Mashiach, man. Okay? So that's a part of the apostles' doctrine. Daily, man. Daily in the temple and in every house. You know, doing the work of the Lord. Okay? That's right. So we, this we can't cease, man. You know? But that's what I'm right there. This is 2 Corinthians. Chapter 11, verse 28, beside those things that are without, that which cometh upon me daily, the care of all the churches. That's right. So the Apostle Paul said, on top of everything that he went through, right? Because because Jake always want to give excuses. Oh, brother, I couldn't do my video because of this, then, and the third. Bro, the Apostle, when you read up further in that chapter before that verse the brother just read, 
when you read up, the Apostle Paul went through hell and back. Mm-hmm. Okay, literally went through hell and back. He died. Yeah, Apostle Paul died. Literally died. Got stoned to death. The Most High raised him back up from the dead, and he went back and did the work again, bro. Man. Okay. Hey, it says so, the oh, Salaki, brother. Now go ahead, Mark. Now I said the things that are written the fourth time are written for our learning, man. It showed you a man, the you know, a great man, Salakia, the, the apostle Paul, how dedicated he was to this ministry, man. You know, so it's really no excuse. Right. In, no excuse. in these times that we got, right. Right. You know, he said, he said, and upon me, upon me, uh, upon these things, what came upon me daily, the care of the churches. So he's still apostle Paul said, after everything else that I went through. On top of that, I daily had to take care of the church. That's right. So, so how do we daily take care of the church now? Doing the work, you know, checking right. over the flock, watching over the flock, so on and so forth, man. Okay, so that's another precept right there. We're supposed to daily do work, y'all. Um, uh, yeah, I got a next one. This is say it again, brother. Oh, con, you got a lot. I thought we, uh, you got it up. This is Matthew chapter 26, verse uh, 55. And it says, and in, and in that same hour, said Yahweh to the multitudes, are ye come out as a as against a thief with swords and staves for to take me? I sat daily with you teaching in the temple and ye laid no hold of, on me. Right. So that's another precept to Mark 14. You know, right. how she said, he sat daily in the temple teaching, man. Mm-hmm. You know, also, I got a, uh, uh, so you're in Matthew, right? Right. Can you get Matthew 6 and um, 11, Bible Kusha? Come, and this I'll, is Matthew. You got it out. Like it. This, this is Matthew chapter 6, verse 11. Give us this day our daily bread. Yep. Yeah. Give us this day our daily bread, man. A part of that is, you know, the Lord sustaining us with what we need, but also, you know, giving us our daily bread with, with the truth. Okay. The, the, the bread from heaven. Okay. So we're supposed to, you know, freely you receive, freely you give. So we're supposed to give daily bread as well. Come on, man. Hey, it was many priests that was we had brought out in this lesson. It goes into daily, man. Right. You know, so, yeah, it ain't no excuse, man. You know, it's, you know, what is that in um, the book of Sirach where it says um, uh, sinful man will not need to be reproved. Yeah, That's roughly paraphrasing. According to his will. Right, man. But there's no excuse to that, man. Hey, it says daily. So every day, <laughs> you know, and again, with the grain of salt, we in Babylon, certain things come up, man. But at right. the end of the day, your your first focus should be this ministry, man. Doing the works that y'all by your mouth shot. Right, and you know we could we could end it off on that. You know what I'm saying? Because the point has been made, man. Right. You know? But another thing too, I'm gonna say this for the sake of balance. All right, are we saved off of our works strictly? No, okay. Because our righteousness says filthy rags. We're not going strictly based off of work. We where the scripture said the just shall live by faith, but the mm-hmm. scripture also say. Faith without works is dead. It's dead. That's and right. We, well, yes, we're not going strictly off our works. Because if we were, we would have to be perfect in everything. That's why mm-hmm. Yahweh Shai had to. But, okay, a part of Yahweh Shai died for us. This is what we're doing in return to, quote unquote, for lack of better words, pay him back. Because we That's can never right. pay Yahweh Shai back. So the yep. least we could do is dedicate our lives to him. And a part of you dedicating your life to Yahweh Shai is feeding the flock of Yahweh Shai, man. That's right. You know, that's the point, though. Come on, all right. Bro. You want, to give all you want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Double honor to our apostle, that was great. Most of the wealth, peace, and blessing to the elect of Israel. Shalom and above ball. Shalom above ball. Hey, come on, you're my shot. Whatever's my side.